Chapter 1 You are listening at FameTV.info Schwa, Schwa Bursts of cold wind blowing plastic whirring, the man slowly toward the woman, slender hands on the woman's bare ankles, cold with a strange calm sound sounded. Can jump out of such a beautiful dance feet how so ugly. Who are you? What are you going to do? Please let me go. I, the woman is shaking her body, her eyes are full of fear and fear. She is shivering and bowing back. She wants to escape from the dangerous man, but her hands are tied tightly by the rope, hanging high in the air, and she is desperate to find that she has nowhere to escape. Are you afraid? But what should I do? I've just started. The man's voice was hoarse and dark. He turned his back to the light and couldn't see clearly. The light made his figure look bigger and bigger. The shadow reflected on the wall floated there like a devil, but the reality is that a man in a decent and exquisite handmade suit, facing the girl, is standing there calmly like an iceberg. Even if he is in a messy abandoned factory, he is just like attending a luxurious dance party. He is a gentleman and polite that it seems that what he is holding in his hand is not a woman's ankle, but a crystal glass filled with red wine. However, this kind of him is more frightening to women. Compared with those filthy words and rude actions, it can clearly let women know that what those people want is her body, but this man in front of her knows that what he wants is her life, this person, it's a freak, horrible killer, his hand with disposable medical plastic gloves, slowly along the woman's feet slowly upward, when touching the woman's thigh, the woman suddenly struggled violently, she forced to kick the man, no, she don't want to die, don't want to die. Asshole, you pervert let me go, let me go, help me, somebody. The woman struggled in panic, desperately crying for help, hoping that someone would suddenly appear to save her and let her stay away from the terrible man in front of her. Why are you so bad? You are a hypocritical and vulgar woman. You have a boyfriend but you cheat people. You are so dirty. Don't worry. You will be clean after a while. When the woman attacked him, he dodged by his side head, wiped his shoulder and passed by. He clenched the woman's leg tightly, and then drew out a sharp scalpel to scratch the woman's ankle. Tick, tick. The blood flowed down the woman's feet drop by drop. When the man looked at the red blood flowing down the woman's white ankle, his cold and calm eyes flashed a strange light. He was excited. He took the knife and scratched it on the other side of the woman's foot. He used some strength, it seems that you can see the white bones and tendons. Oh, please let me go, let me go. Don't kill me, don't kill me. Ah, help, help, who will help me? Please, please let me do whatever I want. Let me go. Let me go. Please. In the intense pain, the woman tore the howl, the pain of begging, struggling desperately but all this didn't help. Instead, the blood flowed faster because of her fierce struggle. It was almost flowing in lines. Soon, the man's feet were bright red, and the smell of blood filled the damp factory. The man seems to dislike that the blood is still too little. He slowly puts the woman down for a while, stops when the woman is opposite to him. Then he holds the scalpel dripping blood, picks up the hair on the woman's neck, stabs it with his backhand, and then uses his power to stroke backward. Ah! You, it's you, why, why kill me, you bastard, pervert. The woman had been in a semi-coma state because of too much blood loss. At this time, such intense pain hit her and pulled her from the dark into reality. She thought it was a nightmare. When she woke up, she was still in her comfortable bed but it's not a dream. This bone-loving pain is tormenting her all the time, but she doesn't want to. When she opens her eyes, she faces a face that she is very familiar with. She can't imagine that the abnormal person who treats her cruelly is the one she is very familiar with. Not long ago, he said goodnight to her with a smile, the woman's mouth was wide open. She wanted to ask him why and why he wanted to kill her, but he had just cut her throat. She opened her mouth wide and didn't make a note for a long time.
Finally, she opened her eyes wide and looked at the man in front of her in horror. At last, all her reluctance and anger disappeared with the woman's death, the woman's last fear and reluctance didn't affect the man. He didn't seem to see the resentful and unwilling eyes in front of him. He not only cut a knife at the woman's two wrists, but also took out a chainsaw to cut the woman's lower body, just now, a beautiful woman like a porcelain doll was hanging in the air, just like the garbage discarded by the owner, the man moves elegantly. Without a trace of panic, he comes forward and slowly cleans the bloodstain on the woman's face with gauze stained with alcohol. After finishing the woman, he wraps her legs with white satin ribbons, and then her arms. At the end, he tied a bow and patiently put on a white ballet dress for the woman. Finally, he put the woman into a shape and hung her body up. Doing all this well, he showed a smile of satisfaction, as if he saw a perfect work. He was satisfied and relaxed. Against the white and bright red background, the smile on the man's face was strange and gloomy, and then he said, Look, it's clean. Listen to the full novel at fametv.info, direct link in the description.